to another J Finance Australia hot lap. I'm back here in Switzerland. Short flight from France over to Switzerland, and we are at Deep Forest, one of the original Gran Turismo circuits that have been updated and put back into Gran Turismo 7. We love the OG tracks. This is going to be a great race, 19 laps. And we're here with Fix It Chris. How are you, Fix It Chris? Uh, I'm doing really great and yes, it is great to finally see Deep Forest back and next week as well we have Trial Mountain, probably the most iconic track in the Grand Turismo franchise, but that's for next week. This week we're at Deep Forest, so let's see what happens around this track. Yeah, so <clears throat> 19 laps around here in the group fours. Uh, what do you think the keys to victory are going to be for this week, Chris? Uh, tire preservation and watch out for those track limits. <laughs> yeah, the track limits, there are some weird ones around here. You're going to have to be careful because they're not super obvious. So uh, it is uh, almost like the uh, marshals from Circuit de la Sarthe have come all the way over to Switzerland to work out the track limits for... I uh, think that is the case. Grand Turismo 7. So um, whenever those guys are on, we uh, just... Uh, just hope they stay away from some of the other circuits. Definitely. But anyway, we'll get Chris to talk us through a hot lap in the BMW, thanks to Jade Finances Australia. And uh, take it away, Chris. All right, let's go. What you want to break at the 100 meter board? Uh, also, I just want to point point this out. Uh, the wind is traveling along the main straight, so we're going to have some tailwind uh, into turn one for this lap. Uh, keep in mind of the wind when uh, during the race because if you have a tailwind here the uh, the effect is very profound you can gain a lot of time down to third and maybe short shift up to four to prevent the back from sliding out this is a tough sequence so for the first first left hander here you want to stay left and then clip a bit of grass Maybe clip a bit of grass, you can, because the grass does have more grip than you think. I'm just going to switch to this view now, so you can see the, exactly what is happening with the car. And then soft braking through this right-hander. And be careful with the exit there. A long right-hander into another tunnel, many tunnels in this track. Now I'm just going to pause it here. And this is one of the places where you need to be careful with the track limits. As uh, as you can see, the outside tires are just on the white line. Go beyond that and that's a half a second penalty. Soft braking through this downhill left. And if you see this... Uh, oh, I don't know how this... Uh, I don't know how this uh, track is <laughs> surfaced. Concrete, the concrete <laughs> yeah. area. Let's just let's just say concrete area. Start of the bridge. Yep. Want to break and shift down to third and maximize the exit as possible. Now this is also one of the places where the track limit is a bit weird. You, you can actually have all four tires on the green astroturf, but sometimes it let the game lets you get away with it and sometimes it slaps you with a half a second penalty, so keep that in mind. Now this is a very, very long back straight. And in the original, it has a sweeping left through this tunnel, but with but Grand Turismo 7, we're just gonna go straight on to what, in my opinion, is the most awkward hairpin in the history of racing. You wanna break at the 100 meter board or earlier than that, so maybe around here so 100 meter board is the latest if you have fresh tires and this is a bit of a late braking because there's a headwind coming into the hairpin so open it up for the uh, yet yeah, for the hairpin left and finally this is one of the weirdest uh places uh to for track limit penalties so as you can see the uh inside tires are on <coughs> just on the white line and the outside tires are on the green astro turf. The game does let you get away with it, but and if you have the inside tires on the curb, sometimes it slaps you with a half a second penalty. But occasionally, if you go really wide and you go to the runoff here, 
the game still lets you get away with it. So I am very confused. <laughs> yeah, consistency is not. <clears throat> sorry, consistency is not really that. <laughs> that, that, that no. That paramount uh, to the to those uh, track officials. No, and but for this uh, final stretch, I just keep to the left to save a bit of distance. And just a straight dash to the finish. And that is a 132.27. Uh, Jade Fine, it's a straight M4. In, uh, I think uh, we're going to have, we're going to see quite a lot of uh, drafting on this track with two very, very long, very, very long straights. I think oh, definitely. A lot, of, uh, a lot of drafting and a lot of people working together. 19 laps around here is a long way. You are going to have to try and save some fuel. Most people will have to try and save some fuel anyway. So I think uh, getting in a group and working together is going to be a really good uh, way to get around here and save the fighting for later in the race. Definitely. It's, uh, it's, it's going to be a super interesting race. Super great to get back to the OG tracks and go through as well. And uh, we want to thank our sponsors. Uh, we want to especially thank Jade Finance Australia for uh, helping us put together these hot laps all season. I'd like to say thank you to Chris. Yeah, and, no problem. Uh, we will see you guys next week at uh, Trial Mountain. Yes, definitely. Uh, but before that, be sure to tune in on Sunday where we will race around uh, Deep Forest Raceway, the final race uh, with the Group 4s. <coughs> so see you there, folks. Yeah. It's going to be great. Uh, penultimate round, super enduro to go after this one. So, exciting times. Exciting. <laughs>